Hello guys and welcome to the third episode of Refuge, the HQM mod pack that combines magical crops and lots of zombie spawners. So I was determined to make these episodes short and sweet and I failed at the very beginning. The second episode was over 30 minutes long. So let's try with the short and sweet once more. Having said that, I'm going to take a slight detour, I think, away from the quest book because the next quest, which I think is going to... Ah, oh, no, no detour. Sorry, I was going to say that I really need to make um, Tinker's Construct stuff and I thought it wasn't in this quest table until later, but of course, here it is. The reason I really need to do that is because to make the Minikyo seeds I need lots of zombie flesh and I don't have a sword on me anymore because my sword broke. So obviously the very first order of business is to make some Tinker's tools. I think this is similar to Magic Farm or Agrarian Skies in that the basic the vanilla type tools are quite useless. Now the only question is whether I have enough of the real, um, the real this, or maybe the flint shards will work. I don't know. I don't know if I want to make flint shards. Ah, anyway, let's not get all so complicated. Let's just look at, okay, so it wants me to make the basic stuff and I know how to make the basic stuff. I know this very well. So I think this might be too many to be honest. After all my boasting let's just make 12. And let's make one of those. And one of those. And let's also make a crafting table and a tool station. Are you happy? Yes, everything. I'll always go for the one on the right, I reckon. Okay, let's put these somewhere here, like here. I know it doesn't tell us to do it, but if I have enough wood, I would actually quite like to make the chest thing as well for keeping the... Oh! A piece of string magically appears. No, I don't want the tool station here. What are you doing? I want the tool station here. And I also want to make the chest for keeping all the schemes, constructs, uh, stencils, whatever they are called. What are these things called? Patterns. Yes. If it's light outside, I would quite like to go and get some more wood and also maybe get some proper cobblestone. I still can't get over all that, that stack of cobble that I have which isn't really cobble. That is very, very annoying. Okay, let's, I don't think, well we do have sugar cane, we could make it writable right from the beginning. this and I let's see whether those flint shards actually no they're quite useless ah well we can make one of those but do we have any more real cobble this is not fake cobble no we do not because this isn't really cobblestone this is a cheat created to irritate us 
don't know what happened to those potatoes. Let's cook them. Do we have any more to cook? No, we do not. Let's try a piece of um, this. In some packs, in some packs, um, you can cook this to make leather. I don't know whether this pack is so kind, but we lose nothing by trying. Oh, it's cooking, it's cooking. I think this, ah, except I shouldn't have really wasted this because we need a lot of rotten flesh. But a piece of leather is not bad either. Okay. Okay, let's check and see what, what it's like outside and let's get some proper cobblestone. You know, I'm sure I fixed this. Didn't I fix this? Okay, it is night outside. Not very nice at all. Ah, this is proper cobblestone. Okay, we don't have to go outside after all. God, I'm lost already. I have a terrible sense of direction, which I suspect many people have noticed already. Let's also make one of those. And is this a sword blade? Yes, it probably is. Let's put all of these things here. After all, this is why I made the chest thing. And let's make this. Parts can be replaced. Oh, I think this is this will actually be usable, which is very useful. And this, and this. So it might not be very durable or very good, but it has a definite advantage. That can we do this on this? We can. Oh, I know. It has a definite advantage that it can just be repaired with cobblestone. Let's make one of those. Absolutely a fantastic early game tool. It cuts dirt and wood and farms. And let's make, is it this? Yes. This. This. And this! And now we are no longer defenseless. In fact, oh shit, <laughs> we are quite defenseful. Ah, how do you like that, Spider-Man? Oh, and there is another one. Okay, string is clearly not going to be a problem. But you know what I need, you know what I want. Zombies. I want the zombies, but definitely not the creepers, although it seems to me that in this pack mob griefing is turned off, so creepers are not as bad as they could be. Oh, I've never checked to see what's in this bag, and that was my phone. Ah, oh, snow golem. Oh, that could possibly be very useful. Okay, so since it's daylight, I thought I would just pop out very quickly and get a bit of dirt because you can't have too much dirt and also get a little bit more cobble. I do wonder if there is anything like um, oh and also a little bit more wood. I do wonder if there's like anything like gravel etc in here. I sort of suspect not. Oh it's raining. 
rain. Well, that's still the same in Minecraft. Whatever happens, there is always rain. Look at this. There's some kind of fruit. Papaya. The, my main problem is that I just don't see anywhere that's tall enough to to grow our trees efficiently because I don't think trees grow if they don't have the vertical space I could be mistaken but that's always been my impression I wish this was in a nicer biome I mean I guess it kind of goes with the whole apocalyptic thing but I don't know. It's not very pretty, is it? I'm gonna do a complete deforestation of this area. But some things just can't be helped, I guess. This is probably something you can oh one modifier it doesn't just get, get a modifier but not does it like not get a um does it just give you the possibility of adding a modifier but not get one of its own that would be sort of disappointing Now, where is the bloody entrance? Let's take the chest as well. Chests cost quite a lot of wood. Excellent. Okay. Now I'm paranoid about missing safes everywhere. Right, let me just go kill some zombies and I think we will call it a day, although I would have really liked to be able to get at least one more, at least a mini kill quest done. I got some trees, dark oak sapling, mind you, that probably needs four to be at all useful. But we got a lot of good stuff, so let's not complain. Okay, so we need lots of, I think about 32 bits of zombie fur. Well, maybe not, because we've already got one of those things made. Ah, where did it go? Ah, look at the cheek. Jockey, spider jockey. Ha -ha. <laughs> that confused it a little bit. Okay, anything else? Yes, I see you. You're trying to hide, but I see you. And I see you too. I guess you can't have them all. Ah, there is Mr. Zombie. 
not just any old zombie, but a zombie villager. Just darn. That didn't work very well, did it? Okay, come here, mate. Right, I have a feeling that this could take some time. So I think I'm just gonna continue doing this, but possibly off camera. I'm sure you won't mind. I'll let you know if I die or something like that. Hello guys and uh, welcome to my dirty, dirty, dirty life. Yes, I messed up. Uh, I recorded a whole bit of the last bit I thought of this episode, except it turned out when I looked at it that, guess what? Guess what? I wasn't recording. Yeah. Big, big mess up. Anyway. I'm not really going to go back and do the same thing. I didn't do all that much, you know, most of it was me blubbing along and just boring you with all sorts of completely irrelevant information. But anyway, to summarize, this is what I did. I killed a few more zombies, I got some zombie flesh, and I made one of those Minikyo seeds. Let's just remind ourselves, so you make them, you make the essence with some zombie flesh which i did and then you use four essence around one seed and you get the seed once i did that i spread it so the good news about the agri crafting here is no wheat it's such a relief so i just spread it and i made the three seeds here so i managed so i got yeah, let's see. I got this, um, not this. Oh yeah, well, I did this part of the thing. But now it wants me to make 12 of those. So I planted the seeds and I decided to look into making a watering can. And the quite amazing thing is that the peaceful you know how there is this recipe for a watering can which is normally peaceful because normally you need a bowl and i think some iron but this is on peaceful mode well this recipe works here even though the mode is clearly not peaceful so anyway i was able to make myself a watering can and now i can water this so it wants me excuse me i just have to sneeze <laughs> ah, bless me. Ah, I have a guinea pig in the house now. My niece, I'm looking after my niece's guinea pig while she's away. And I wonder if I'm allergic to the thing or something. But the animal, I mean, it looks really sweet and everything. It's already, I've had it for less than a day and it's already peed on me once and bit me once. And now I am sneezing. I am very suspicious that I'm allergic to guinea pig fur or pee or something. Anyway, completely off topic. Let's go back to zombies and seeds. Uh, with the watering can, and it's such a great relief to be able to use a watering can without zombies appearing out of nowhere. Uh, I need 12 of these, but I already have a few in here. Oh, by few I mean one. And nothing in here. What? Stop going. Let's make a few more. Okay, uh, the other thing that I did was that I saw this blinking away. Time to get kinky. Kinky. And this just wanted me to have all these patterns, which I did. 
and I chose the pig iron sword blade as the reward because I reasoned that I'm probably going to be doing more killing than mining given that there's no ore generation here. Now the one thing about this is I was I thought the problem one problem with this could be uh figuring out how to repair it. So then I used this old cheaty trick with smooth stone and the chisel. Remember we got the chisel as a previous reward. I think it was a reward bag. So uh, you can chisel smooth stone, well I'll sort of show you, into this stuff. And you can use this stuff to make, it's kind of like the mossy cobblestone, you can make a moss ball with it so i applied the moss ball to it so now it has self-repair on it perfect okay let's go back to the watering which i do find somewhat boring to be honest if i'm going to be brutally honest with you but we don't have to do that much of it and soon i guess i guess i could spread these well, let's let's spread them out a little bit more. Let's take advantage of the fact that we have no no weeds in this pack. The thing is also that I'm going to have to find another room. Ah, I'm going to have to find another room for uh, for this. Has it spread? No, it hasn't. Because the Minikyo seeds obviously are just the first step. There's loads of other seeds that I need to get. Uh, one of the uses of the Minikyo seeds, I think, well, I can make the Akio essence and other essences. Look, with some potato seeds, I can make cold seeds and also blaze seeds. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, look, this opened the whole thing. And I've completed, without even knowing it, this quest. So which one shall I take now? I am going to take the reward back just because I think these things are actually quite easy to make. And the one thing I wonder is the obsidian really obsidian? <coughs> it looks like it is. And what will we get as a reward for this? Ooh. Corn seeds, okay, I don't really care. Uh, what is the difference? I like the look of the green stuff. Plus five attack damage. Oh, this is Project X. I know absolutely nothing about Project X. Okay, I think we're almost done here. Let's just kill a few things. With my better improved axe look at those those things they just stand there you know and like hide and pretend they are not really there I don't know whether to light that room up or not, it might be safer, but on the other hand, I don't know, it's kind of useful having a place where things spawn that you know about. Alright guys, I think we will finish it here, thank you very much for watching and I'll hopefully see you next time.